Fuck you, Harry. Good. Well, I'd like to talk to you this morning uh, a little bit, and uh, what I'm going to tell you is going to be a lot of people will disagree with me on this, maybe some people here in the church will disagree with me, but I'm telling you how I feel and how I read the Bible. Uh, I heard a statement made the other day, I was out in town, and someone passed away, and they said, oh, he's finally getting his wings, he's going to be an angel. That is not true. When you die, you do not become an angel. The Bible teaches us about angels. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's only three names in the Bible that God reveals to us that are angels. Even though he talks about angels. Uh, I might need your help, Brother Jared. Where does it talk to us about uh, the legions of angels? There's like thousands of angels in a legion. Yes. He mentioned the legions that would be there to take him off the cross if he so chose. Okay. So we know there are thousands and thousands and thousands of angels, but there's only three angels in the Bible that God revealed the name to us. One was Gabriel. Do you know what Gabriel's known for? Hannah? Hannah announces Jesus' birth. Uh, Micah is another angel's name that was told to us. Does anybody know what Micah is? Well, if you read in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelations, Micah is an archangel. Micah, uh, I believe it tells us that he uh, he is like a warrior, protector, and uh, I think he's one of the angels that fought the dragon in heaven, which is referred to as Lucifer, which is another angel, and he says that after the fight was over, he was in heaven no more. So, and then it also tells us Lucifer was an angel, but it's the Bible tells us he fell like lightning. So, we know angels can fall from heaven, and we know when we die, we're not going to be an angel. And we know angels are important because God's got thousands of them, and they protect us. So there's a story in the Bible about a man and a donkey, and do you remember for the Angel stood in front of the donkey with the flaming sword. I don't think the Bible tells us that angel's name, but they're there to protect us and serve and help like God's messenger. So they're pretty important, aren't they? Well, now, why do you think God created angels? I just told you. To, to serve. Yeah. They're God's messengers. Now, we know an angel fell. So when an angel made a mistake, God kicked him out of heaven. We, can we agree with that? Okay. Now, do you think God loves his angels? I do. Do you think God loves you? I do. So when you make a mistake, do you think God's going to kick you out? See, you're, you're more special and God loves you more than angels, and I believe that because God gives us second chances when we mess up. Uh, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross to, for our sins. So when we mess up, the blood of Jesus covers our sins and he can look at us. So whenever you hear someone tell us, talking about angels when they die, you know, oh, he got his wings or she got her wings, that's not true. You're more precious and more special than an angel. God loves you. God sent his son to die for you. He didn't send his son to die for the angels that got cast out of heaven. I want you to remember that. Amen. That's all I have today. I hope I didn't confuse you, but if you want to... Angels is a very deep subject. There's different books that... I believe there's other religions that talks about other angels' names and tells what they do, but in the Bible, it's just only three that God reveals to us. And if you want to learn more about them, read uh, Daniel and Revelations. That's all I have. Or you can ask Brother Jerry. <laughs> all right, that's all I have. So let's stand and have prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these young ladies that come to church, Lord. We ask a special blessing on their lives. We ask you to keep them safe and protect them. And let them grow up and be strong and mighty God-fearing women and spread your word.
Lord, we ask you to be with our church, to be with our pastor as he brings a message before us. And uh, we thank you for what this church means to us, to keep its light shining bright in our community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.